Hey guys, welcome back. This is Vera Rochelle. So this is my third video of the night. A little tired, but I'm trying to knock these videos out. So this is the last uh, tutorial I'll be doing for tonight. We'll be making this little fun piece right here. It's a three strand seated bead necklace with some butterfly charms. So if you wanna know how I made this piece, stay tuned. All right guys, so here are our supplies for this butterfly charmed three strand seated bead bracelet. That's that. So as you can see for this one it actually has a pattern going on there and then we'll get into that. But you'll need three types of beads. The black bead, so I use the black bead um, to show where I will put my charms. So where you see the black beads, you will see there's a charm. Okay. So these are the colors I chose right here. We have seven butterfly charms. And since the back of them are gold, I chose gold for the closing pieces. But for the jump rings that I'm gonna put on the butterfly uh, charms, I did choose this dark, dark, uh, like gray um, color, dark gray or, yeah, I think that's dark gray or like a shiny light black, <laughs> just because, so that it matches here. Okay. So again, when I use my beading wire, I don't need the beading needle. Um, so I'm gonna put it here just in case you guys are using thread. Um, you'll need your beading needle. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I have our extension chain. Oops, sorry. I have our extension chain, our lobster clasp, our jump rings, two of those, our crimping tube, crimping uh, crimp uh, covers. Um, again, we have the jump rings for the charms, our bead, um, the little holder here for the beads. And we have our wire cutters, our crimp pliers right here, and our jewelry pliers right here. You just need, um, the rounded pliers are not necessary for this uh, project. That's just what I have for right now. And our ruler and we will get started. All right, guys, I am back. If you watched my previous two videos on the three strand uh, seed bead bracelets, you kind of got the hang of it um, by now. So I have my three pre-cut wires. They are 10 inches in length. However, this bracelet will be six inches. I make all of my adult um, bracelets six inches and that's why I just add an extension chain to give an additional two inches. And then I'm gonna line these ends up here. We're gonna insert that into our crimping tube. Really small tube here. And I'm gonna pick it up with these pliers. Oops. There we go. So that's in there. And now I wanna make a loop and to secure this end of our work. I'm gonna bring it back through 
your crimping tube. And just keep going till we have a small loop. Okay, so we have a small loop now, and they're pretty much even. Now we have to secure our crimping tube. So I have our crimping pliers, and with the tip, the very tip for this project, we are just gonna push down very gently down the middle and then I tap on the ends a little bit always pull your work to make sure it's tight and it's not going to come apart not super hard but just enough for um, like regular tugging that may occur, like will it, you just wanna make sure that everything is secure. There we go. And then now we're gonna cut off the excess there. And snip. Okay, so since I'm going to is that the right way, I don't know, maybe backwards, but since I am doing six inches, I decided to do a little bit of math here. And so I wanted to space out the charms so on the two outer strands, I have two charms. And on the one in the middle, I have three. And I kind of wanted to make everything uniform. So I looked at my ruler and I said, okay, at two inches and four inches, that will be for my outer strand that's where I will place the two black beads and the charms will go in the middle, in the middle. And then for my strand in the middle, I use one, three, and five inches as my markers for my black seed beads and the charms went there. So in essence, the method is still the same. It's just this time we have a pattern going and we're going to add some charms. Okay. So when you add your charms, you can add your charms at the end of the project or you can add it during the project. I am going to add it during the project. And you want to make sure that your jump rings are not too large, that they're going to be slipping and sliding down the work. You want to make sure you know, that it's not, that it's gonna stay put in this spot because jump rings come in different sizes, um, even smaller than this right here, okay? 
And so I am just gonna put these jump rings on these charms now. And then I'm just gonna do everything together in my work. So let's go ahead and do that. So these jump rings actually come closed. This one's a little bit open, but they all come closed. So I can show you how to open them. We're just gonna twist it open just a little bit, just enough to get the charm in. Go this way, they're pretty sad on this. You can see it, put the jump ring in. I'm still holding the pliers in the same spot on this side, I haven't moved. So that's still there. So now we're gonna close it. So now we're gonna go the opposite direction and just close. Oh, my hand slipped. Okay. And until they, until they meet. Let's see if I can get it in camera. And when you get too close, it gets blurry. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. I didn't open it wide enough. This one has a little space, so I'm just gonna gently close it. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna start. So for this one, since I know I have some type of pattern going on, I wanna make sure that I know my outer. And let me cut off some more of this wire that's sticking out here. There we go. Okay, so I wanna make sure I know my outer, my inner, Then the last one. 
So this one is on the outside. And so when I first start off this pattern, I use a black bead. We'll put our black bead on there. And then I start. And remember our outer strand will go to the two inch mark. Then we'll put two black beads. Then we'll change colors to the four inch mark. Put two black beads, change colors, and then continue until we get to the six inch mark, which is how long my bracelet um, is gonna be. And then we'll put one black bead. So, you just, whatever color, whatever uh, color you start off with, when you do the next strand, you'll just alternate. So, I'm just gonna keep. Sorry guys if I sound a little uh, low energy, but I really wanted to get these videos out tonight. But I think time caught up with me. All right, so let's see if this is two inches. Almost, not quite. And for these, it doesn't have to be exact, as long as it's kind of close enough. Um, That's too far. So I take off the pink bead right, if it's right on that uh, number two, I'll take off the pink bead and I'll put my two black beads. So we have black bead. And then remember, I'm gonna do my charms as I go. And make sure you're paying attention to which way your charms are facing. Make sure they're not backwards. So we have our charm. And then like I said, we're doing two black beads. So that's the second one. So this charm is backwards to you guys, but it's facing me, it's the right way. Okay, so now we are going to go up until four inches using the second color pink. Remember, ultimately, we're trying to get to six inches. But at these pit stops, we'll add our charms. So now we're at four inches. I'm gonna take off a few beads. I went a little bit past it. And then again, we'll do our black bead. We'll do our charm. And then another black bead. And then we'll alternate back to the darker pink until we get to six inches.
And then I think for six, a little bit past six. So I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna put a black bead. And that's our first strand. And then we'll use our little clip here to make sure our work doesn't fall apart while we do the second two strands. Okay, so now I'm gonna find my inner wire, the one that's in the middle. And we are going to start off with our black bead. So for all of these, I start and end with the black bead. Okay. And so since we started with the dark pink, I'm gonna uh, now start with the lighter pink. And so, like I said, the one in the middle, we're gonna have three charms. And our markers are one inch, three inch, and five inch. So it'll be a black bead, black bead, black bead. And then every time we restart our beading, we'll change colors. So we're gonna start off with the lighter pink and we're gonna go up to one inch. Do a black bead. We'll do a charm. And then another black bead. And now change colors until we get to three. to three inches. So I'm gonna take these two off. And then we'll do black bead. We'll do a charm. Since this one's blue, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, just randomly. That one's pink. And another black bead. And then again, we'll alternate colors and we're gonna keep going until we get to the five inch. And you guys can do your own pattern or you can do none at all. It doesn't matter. But for my, for, but for my channel, everything that I sell, I like to make a video on it. Because I'm gonna be doing a lot of random things and learning a lot of new things that I don't know how to do. and. Not only would it help you guys out, but it'll help me remember what I have done. Okay. So we'll get to five. And then we'll 
I'll take a black bead. Okay. And then we're just gonna finish it off until we get to six and we'll alternate back with the dark pink. So if I wasn't on camera, these would take me about 20, 25 minutes to make. Then we'll end with a black bead. Boop. And then our little cap here to hold our work. It's looking good so far. And this is an original design. You won't see this pattern anywhere else. I literally just was sitting here thinking of <laughs> different designs I can do. That's what I do I'm normally in my head and then I see it and then I'm like, okay, let's do it. All right, so now the last one is gonna be an outer strand. these two back down in place. Okay. So again, with the outer strands, we use two and four as our, as our markers, excuse me. So we're gonna start off with our black bead. And then now we're gonna alternate back to the dark pink as the first color. So we're going to go to two, which I went way over. I'll take some of these off. Black bead. A charm. Another black bead. And we'll alternate colors. until we get to four.
This jump ring is still a little open. I'm just trying to fix it. We'll do another black bead and then finish off our work. I think I put too much on there. Oh no. Just made it. And we'll add a black bead. All right. And we're done. We're just going to gently remove our clamps here. what we're working with. We'll put these into a crimping tube. We're just going to finish off our work. Just got on one strand. And here I am just getting the wires back through the crimping tube. I forgot to talk there for a sec, a moment, because I've done this style, this is not a third time, but this may be the first video that you see. Sometimes the viewers don't always see the videos in order. There we go. And I just want a nice small loop. And I kind of want the crimping tube a little bit close to my work. So I'm slowly going to push everything down. And it came out. I wanted my crimping tube a little bit closer to the work. Okay, let me put these back in.
and there's our small loop and just like when we started the project we are going to press down our crimping tube to secure it in place just using the tip of the crimping uh, pliers So we're gonna make sure that everything's secure by pulling on our strands here. Everything is secure. We're gonna cut these extra, extra little wires off. Take my jump ring with my lobster clasp. Put that on. Now we're going to attach it to one end for our beading work. Make sure it's on there nice and secure. on there and we'll use our other jump ring okay then we're going to attach this one to the other end that's our extender chain with the jump ring Now we just have to add our crimp, um, crimp tube covers to give it a cleaner look. And these crimp covers just go directly on top of the crimping tube. The opening should face horizontal of the crimp tube just to give it a nice good fit oops so this covers all of the little bit of wires that's sticking out there it covers the crimping tube that's what it's designed to do Take our pliers and squeeze down. So that's closed. And I notice one side is sticking out more than the other. And you can just take your pliers and keep squeezing down or fixing it.
then we'll do the last one. Just sit it right on in there. We'll close it down. And there you have it, guys. That's it. Now I'll try it on. Make sure I get the charms on the right side. Let's see if I can do it this one this way. Nah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on TikTok where I randomly go live to show you um, me in live action making jewelry for the store. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.